when we create such measures with static names like MTD, QTD, or YDD. We always have to look at the month slicer to understand which month to date or quarter to date it is referring to. And if we select any other month, the name of these headers does not change. This happens because we can't have such dynamic names for our measures. But many of the times users demand to show the name of the selected month as well, so that it will be easy to understand. And also it will be helpful when we export the data from this table. In this video, let's create a solution for this problem. All right, to solve this problem, many times people create a card visual where they will add the month column from the date table format this card and place it near to these column names. But problem with such solutions is, if you have many columns with horizontal scroll bar, this solution will fail. Or if you want to export data from this table, selected month will not show. So we are not going to follow this approach. In our approach, first of all, we will go to the data view and click on new table to create a custom table. This table name I can keep as metric table. The table expression will be cross joined between two tables the first one is this data table, which will have a single column table with MTD, QTD, and YDD names, and the another one is all the month names from my date table. By doing this, I will get this result. Here each metric will have all the 12 months. If you want, you can also create this table with manual entries. All right, now go to the relationship view and create the relationship between date table and this newly created metric table using the month name column. Here, one important thing which you need to take care of is to select this as single direction, where date table will filter my metric table. For the simplicity, I am not creating any bridge table here. Next, I will add a calculated column. This column name I can keep as KPI. Here, I just need to combine month column and the metric column. With this column, I will go to my report page, select my matrix visual, and remove all my measures. At this moment, if I use the newly created KPI column as the column field, it will throw error because we haven't created the supporting measure yet. So my last and final task is to create the dynamic measure which will show all the values. For this, I will create a new measure. This measure name I can keep as main measure. The expression for this measure is pretty simple. I will use a switch function and I will validate. If max value of the metric column is MTD, then return the MTD measure or if it is QDD, then return the QDD measure. Please note that we are validating with the metric column, but we will use the KPI column as the column header, which also has the month names. Now I can simply drag this measure in the value field, and we are good to go. We are ready with our solution. Now we have this dynamic column header, which will show these measures along with selected month names. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for many such interesting videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.